Good morning guys, welcome back to another vlog. I hope you're all doing really well. It is Tuesday morning and I am just about to head off out for brunch and I thought, oh, careful Rafi. Rafi's literally following me around everywhere because he knows I'm going out. So he's like trying to, Raf, stop. He just like, <laughs> he knows I'm going somewhere. He knows I'm going out because I've got my shoes on and he doesn't want me to go out. So he's just, yeah, he's following me around everywhere. But anyway, I'm just off out for a brunch meeting this morning at the Ivy, which will be lovely. I'm meeting the lovely girls from LTK and just having a little bit of a catch up after I did my um, 30 days of spring outfits over on Instagram. We're just kind of having a little bit of a catch up on how well they performed. And I'm sure they're probably gonna persuade me to do summer outfits as well. Um, but this is today's outfit. I have got on my black skims dress, which I have just been living in since I've been pregnant. It is so comfortable. It's just like stretchy and easy. I wear it at home, I wear it out. It's just my most worn item at the moment. Um, and then I've just popped it on with my Abercrombie linen blazer over the top. I've got on my little black mulberry bag. And I've also gone for trainers as well, just because it's a little bit gray outside today. It's not the brightest of days. So I thought I'd go for my vagers also because I need to paint my toenails as well <laughs> um, and then jewelry i've got in my chunky gold hoops from monica vinida my little heart pendant from monica vinida as well and i need to put some rings on i've just noticed my hands look very very bare i've just popped some rings on i've stacked these two beautiful diamond rings from a jewelry on this hand and then on my other hand i've also got three rings which are all from a jewelry i've got this little twist one on my thumb this gorgeous like gemstone one, and then this um, Pave, I think it's pronounced Pave, but P-A-V-E. Do correct me if I'm wrong, but this little Pave diamond one, which is also from Majuri. I'm kind of getting a little bit of food envy now though. I changed my mind at the last minute, and now I'm thinking, oh actually that does look really good. <laughs> I am just driving home from brunch which was lovely i say i'm driving i'm stop at i'm stopped at some temporary traffic lights <laughs> hence why i haven't got my hands on the wheels um but yeah just heading home and had a lovely lovely brunch at the ivy um really nice little meeting lovely to see the girls from ltk and kind of check in after um the past month of content it's like nice to get little updates from them on what content perform I can see my own analytics anyway but it's nice for them to tell me what's performed well and what I should be doing more of and what I should be doing like focusing on and things like that so it's always nice to kind of hear um yeah a little bit of feedback so that was lovely and I had the vegetarian oh we're off we're off <laughs> I had the vegetarian breakfast which is like um halloumi and avocado and um tomatoes and beans and oh it was really nice very tasty and a green juice nice healthy green juice and a coffee decaf of course of course um and now i am just heading home i have got a few bits that i need to organize when i get in because i've had a few dresses arrive from karen millen i am going to ascot with them on thursday i've been very kindly invited to ascot sorry i'm just going around a roundabout lost you there for a second <laughs> i have been invited to ascot with them on thursday um which sounds amazing like i think we're having like a three course meal in like one of the nice enclosures i've never been to ascot before um but obviously we need to wear a dress from karen millen so they said to me to select make some selections online um and they have sent me over a few different options that i've picked out and i'm going to try them on it said it was a little bit harder having like trying to find an occasion wear dress with bump um especially from karen millen i know some places do like really like stretchy dresses and you've got more option actually saying that it also didn't help that it was ascot so that nothing could be sleeveless nothing could be halter neck so sometimes i'd see like more of like a stretchy slinky dress um but it was sleeve it was like bandeau or halter neck anyway i had a bit of a like and then i'd love one that wouldn't be available in my size and then i wouldn't know which size to go for because i was thinking do i need to size up for bump 
But anyway, I've ordered a few, so I will try them on with you um, and show you the dresses that I ordered. I have just got back and I've got a few packages waiting for me from Amazon Fashion. So I'm gonna unbox those in a moment with you. And I also had a couple of PR packages arrive as well. Got this little box from Molten Brown, which is very exciting. It says it's their um, Infinite Bottle Collection, the brand's latest step up in its commitment to sustainability. So this is the um, Black Pepper Infinite Bottle Recharge Black Pepper Bath and Shower Gel. And then this is a refill as well. Let me just quickly open this and show you how it looks so this is the refillable bottle and it smells amazing it's quite a masculine scent which i quite like um but i know that lou will love that as well so i'm going to pop that in the shower and then i also not that i can drink this anytime soon of course but i also received a bottle of brockman's new orange kiss gin smooth brockman's gin triple sec and valencia orange flavors and it just sounds lovely. So I will look forward to enjoying a little taste of that later on in the year. <laughs> and my mum has very kindly steamed and hung up my four dress choices for Ascot. So over here, I've got this gorgeous white Rodeo Anglaise one. This one looks beautiful. Like the print of that is just stunning. And then over this side, I went for this one as a bit of like a safe option because I don't know if you know, but I've got this dress already in like a bright green. And in fact, I'll insert a cutter of it so you can see it on, but it's beautiful, I absolutely love it. And so I knew that it could be quite a safe option for fitting over the top of bump. I did size it up to a 10 and I've got my green one in a six. So hopefully that should give that little bit more room around like the, the boob area. <laughs> And then this I just thought was so pretty. I don't know how practical this is going to be over the top of bumps, bump because obviously it's got the buttons. But again, I did size up to a 10 in, I think I sized up to a 10 in that. Let me just double check. Did I size up? Yeah, a 10. And I would usually go for a six at Karen Mill. And these two, I went for an eight in both of these because I thought they looked more like the style with a bit more space. Um, but yeah, I would have gone for a size six before, so I have sized up in all of them. I will try all four of them on in a moment um, and show you how they look on, and then you guys can help me choose which one I should wear. I mean, I say help me choose, by the time this video goes up, I will already have chosen, but we can have a look at them and see which one we think. Okay, before I get into things, I wanted to quickly show you something that I ordered from Amazon Fashion a couple of weeks ago, which is a very, very practical purchase. But in fact, I say a couple of weeks ago, it's not even been, I feel like it's been about a week, so slight exaggeration. But anyway, a very practical purchase, but something that I needed for my dog walks. And it is a bum bag or a fanny pack, as some of you may know it as. And I know Lou took the mickey out of me when I first put it on, and I can kind of see why. But this has been such a like such a lifesaver for dog walks, especially at the moment when it's boiling and I'm literally going out in shorts and a tank and a top and I don't want to wear a jumper or anything with pockets. I need poo bags and I need treats and I need somewhere to put my phone as well. And this is just an absolute, oh, and apparently I need a little bit of cash as well. <laughs> Lovely. Um, but yeah, it's got like little compartments on the inside. It's got a little zip at the back. This is my little treat zip where I keep all the treats in there um, and honestly so handy it was under 10 pounds and I have worn this every single day since I got it so I just wanted to quickly show you that if like me you have a dog or even if you just like going on walks and you want to be hands-free definitely recommend that and this is adjustable as well so you can wear it kind of like cross body like that as well but I've just been going full kind of, you know, full practical mode, whacking it around my waist and just loving how, loving the convenience of it. So I'll leave that link to well, that's some Amazon fashion. Um, and then a few other bits that I have ordered. So, first of all in here, we have a pair of shoes and a bra that you may actually have seen. I got this in the white. Um, last month, maybe the month before last, I got it in the white. They're on offer currently. I think they are under half price. They're currently £14. 
Um, and I have worn the white so much and I just love how they're such a nice style. So it's a Calvin Klein crop top. Um, but I love this kind of like style of them with the thinner straps. And then it's low at the back as well. So it's handy if you're wearing like a vest top with a low back. It's just got a band at the back and it dips down really low. Straps are adjustable, so, so comfortable and um, great for wearing underneath like loose clothing. You may have seen in my free people video, I got that like free people onesie and I've been wearing the white one underneath that and I think it looks really cute styled underneath that. So I thought I would also get it in the grey because the grey was also on offer for £14. Such a bargain. Definitely recommend. I don't think all the colours are reduced but I will leave the ones below that are. And then these, I have been arming and ahhing about. I don't know why I've like procrastinated so much about ordering these. Um, because you guys know how much I love my tan sandals from Amazon Fashion. So I have finally decided to order them in the black. I think the reason I didn't before is because I wanted something a little bit different as a black sandal. And I didn't want the exact same as my tan ones. Um, but... I just wear my tan ones of these so much. They are so comfortable. I don't know if you can tell, but it's got like a really padded sole. So they're super comfortable and just a really nice shape and just like a, like a nice dupe for the YSL sandals. I'm not sure what they're called, but they're a very similar style, this bit here. Very similar style to these. Um, and yeah, I love my tan ones. So I thought, I'm definitely gonna get some wear out of the back ones. What have we got in here? Oh, okay, so first of all, just some, um, another very practical purchase. You can see that I'm um, in my practical, I mean, I've always been a bit, quite, a bit practical, but anyway, another practical purchase. These are invisible socks. I was running low on these. I feel like they just disappear, don't they? And they're just those trainer socks, basically. And these look like ones that came quite low. I don't like the ones that come all the way up here a little bit too high and you can see them over the top of the trainers. So two pairs of beige, uh, one pair of beige, one pair of grey, one pair of black. Um, and then this, oh, I'm excited about this. I feel like this might be a bit of a hit or miss one. Hopefully hit, but who knows? So this is like a pleated, like plissé cord. So these are the trousers. I did size up to a size medium, so hopefully they should fit. So these look lovely, they're like a, you see they're in like a pleated fabric, a little bit of a sheen to them, high-waisted, wide-ish leg trouser, and then this is the matching shirt, and I thought that this would just be so comfortable with bump, lovely over the top of bikini, um, just a really like chic, simple cord. I like that a lot. Do you know what that looks? You know when you order things and you're like, oh, I don't know if it's going to be, it's hard to tell from the picture how it's going to be. I feel like that does look really nice. Um, and then this is another dress that I spotted. I am living in dresses or obviously jumpsuits at the moment. They're just comfort and ease. And so I thought I would order this style kind of, of dress is like my go-to at the moment. So I thought I would order this one because I quite liked the colour. I thought it was a little bit different for me. Sage green. It's obviously got these smock detail at the top, which again, I love because it means you don't have to wear a bra. Little tie straps and then a floaty midi skirt. So I will try that on as well. And then finally, oh, okay. And then the final items I ordered from Amazon Fashion are a pair of shorts. Again, none of my shorts fit me anymore. Like my linen shorts, I love how linen shorts look in summer, but they're all, I can't do any of the waists up anymore because of bump. Um, so I ordered these in a size medium. They've got an elasticated waist. And I thought that they, they do look quite big. I thought that they would be a good option for maybe going over bump and then obviously wearing like a loose shirt. Anyway, we'll try and see. And then last but not least, I also ordered a robe as well from Amazon Fashion. And this is just one of those. Um, so this is just a very simple, in fact, I'm gonna try this on now. This is just a very simple um, cream or white robe in like a lovely soft, like the same fabric as the pyjamas that I have from Amazon Fashion, that super soft, stretchy fabric. I did order a waffle one from there um, a little while ago. Has it not got a tie? Has it not got a tie? Surely it comes with a tie. Surely it comes with a tie. 
Oh, the ties at the back. <laughs> um, yeah, I did order a waffle one from there a while ago, but it was a little bit small, over bump. In fact, I don't know if you noticed in that video because I hadn't said I was pregnant at the time, but I'd ordered it in a small, I think, and I put it on and it was like literally just closing over me and I was thinking, God, <laughs> this is a squeeze. Um, so I ended up sending that one back and I thought I'd order this instead, but just something lightweight to put on in the morning when you want a comfy robe or comfy like something to come and have a cup of coffee in the morning um but lightweight and soft and comfortable so this is lovely let me quickly show you in the mirror okay so ignoring the jumpsuit underneath and also ignoring the fact that it obviously needs a steam this is how the little robe looks on and this is just perfect it is super comfortable very sort of st soft stretchy fabric um and yeah just handy easy lightweight for summer as well and i think yes it does have pockets either side too and i quite like the fact that the sleeves are a little bit cropped because they won't drag on things and get dirty um so yeah very happy with this very simple and again comes in lots of other colors as well so i will leave it linked obviously i went for white because i just thought it was the most just a bit of me but I will leave it linked and you can check out the other colors if you want to okay obviously this also needs a steam as well so ignore the creases but how pretty is this I I was a bit unsure about the color because I don't normally wear green um I'm a little bit of a neutral girl obviously and I tend to go for more like black and white midi dresses but I just thought this was so pretty and yeah lovely and again i'm pretty sure this also comes in lots of colors as well so if you're also not a fan of the green there are lots of other color options i have just tied the straps probably not as well as i could have um but you can adjust them and tie them and in fact this one i tied a little bit further back so if you prefer it to sit with less of a bow you can tie the bow a little bit further back or you can obviously have the bow up on the top i actually think it looks better with the bow on the top um, but I love the fact that it's smock, it's really fitted here, and then it's very floaty, it's so perfect for plenty of room for bump. Although I feel like my bump looks quite small today, don't you think? Considering I am now 25 weeks, I feel like it's kind of shrunk. <laughs> Honestly, some days, I feel like some days it's bigger than others, it's really weird. Um, but yeah, beautiful dress, I like this a lot. Okay, this cord is gorgeous this is so much nicer than i expected it to be i have styled it with my tan actually my tan amazon fashion sandals of course and my low fa bag just because i feel like it kind of can almost um edge upon looking like pajamas when it's not styled up um but i think the fabric just makes it feel that little bit more dressy as well like i love this pleated plissé fabric i just think it looks so chic um, I'm so glad I sized up to the size medium as well because the bottoms fit me perfectly. They've got lots of stretch. They are ever so slightly see-through, but I think with the long shirt over the top, you can't tell at all because it, do it does come down over the top of your bottom. So it works perfectly. And again, would be lovely over the top of swimwear as well. Trousers, perfect length for me. I'm five foot six and i just think it's really lovely it feels cool and comfortable i love the longer kind of floaty sleeves and again it comes in a few different colors as well i think the white is lovely it does also come in black which i was tempted by but i just thought this for summer especially as bump grows and there's plenty of room i just think it's really lovely um let me know what you think of this i feel like some of you might think it's too pajama-esque but i think it looks very chic and so much more expensive than what it was i feel like i've seen similar things to this from like and other stories for triple quadruple the price this was um so i'm very happy with this and then finally this is how the shorts look on and they're not exactly what i was expecting i think they're a little bit lighter i thought they were going to be a little bit more beige um and more kind of like they're slightly they feel almost slightly smarter a little bit more of a stiffer fabric than i expected i thought they'd be quite a soft lightweight linen um, but I do like how they look styled like this. I kind of miss wearing outfits like this, like a striped shirt and a pair of, tra uh, pair of shorts with sandals. I just feel like this is the sort of outfit that I've missed styling since nothing's fit me anymore. Um, so I like how they look. They, are, they do fit me perfectly in the size medium. They've got the elasticated waist. 
and they feel comfortable. They can sit just above bump at the moment, but I think I'd probably only have another month or so before they might start to feel a little bit tight. But obviously, if you're not pregnant, then these will be perfect. Um, but yeah, I don't know. Let me know what you think about these. I'm kind of in two minds with these shorts. Um, but I do, yeah, I do like how they look styled like this. Excuse me, please. I'm trying to show my sock. <laughs> Um, also, just to quickly show you, this is the way, like the shape of the socks on. I know it's a bit random, but I feel like it's quite good to see where they sit because some of them come up really high and then you can see them over the top of the trainers. But anyway, this is the shape of them and you do actually get two pairs of each colour as well. So um, there's six pairs in total. I'm just making myself a little afternoon snack. I have chopped up some strawberries and I'm going to have them with some natural yoghurt and then I've just crumbled up a ginger biscuit and some cashew nuts and then I'm going to put the strawberries on top and add some honey. How yummy does that look? I know that the ginger biscuit isn't like, I feel like the ginger biscuit is the only unhealthy bit in there but literally it was just one biscuit and the rest of it is really good for you and just delicious as well. So I'm going to go and sit in the garden in the sunshine and enjoy that. Okay time for an Ascot try on. So this is dress option number one and it is stunning. I mean, I absolutely love white brode anglaise anyway. I just think any dress in this fabric is beautiful. I love these big puffy sleeves. I feel like it fits, it fits nicely just about. I mean, when I first put it on, I thought I could definitely have sized up to a 10 just over the bump. I don't know if you can see it, if I move, in fact, let's be honest, it doesn't. <laughs> It doesn't fit as well as it could um, because it's just pulling over my bump here. But I feel like if I tied this properly and wore it in front, it kind of works. Like you can kind of see that it sits quite nicely over the bump and I have just had to, in fact, let me just undo this so I can so show you how it fits. So I've just had to kind of like pull this bit up and fold it under slightly and then tie that over the top. And I think that works like that you can't really see it once it's done up and obviously like I said I'll do it up properly um so this is option number one I have just popped it on with these little raffia sandal heels I'm not sure if I'd wear these or maybe like some nude heels or some wedges or something um oh I've got a fascinator as well let me go and fetch it okay so that I feel like that actually makes the outfit let me just check in the mirror okay that is so pretty i love that fascinator i don't normally i can't remember the last time i wore a fascinator but i feel like that just makes the outfit look so much more special doesn't it it just brings it all together um so i probably will wear my hair like maybe a little bit down maybe a little bit wavy and then a, like in a bun with a few waves out i'm not sure yet probably not in a slick bun though Okay, option number two, and this is also beautiful. This one does actually fit me perfectly in the size eight because this bit's elasticated, so it feels really comfortable on. Um, don't get me wrong, this would be nicer if it was slightly higher so that I had more room. Like, it kind of just feels like it's sitting on, on the top of my bump. Um, but I don't think I would have wanted to have sized up to a 10. I think this fits me perfectly. Um, it does also have pockets as well and it just, I mean, the print of this is so beautiful. I feel like it's nice to wear a little bit of colour to Ascot as well, isn't it? And it's got the long sleeves. It feels very sophisticated. Um, yeah, this is beautiful. And I think it also works well with the fascinator as well. I did want to get a fascinator in white, but they'd sold out. So I went for this kind of like blush pinky colour and actually I think it works really well with the tones of these and I also think they work really well with the other two as well um so yeah this is option number two what do we think so pretty and I love the way the skirt just flows out it is double lined or maybe even triple lined as well yeah double lined so gorgeous Okay, this is option three, another beautiful dress. I do need to pop a little bit of tan on as well, which I will probably do later on this evening because I feel like this needs just a little bit of tan with it. Um, but this is gorgeous as well. It works really well with the peachy tone of the fascinator and like the nudie peach tone on the dress. 
Um, I feel so comfortable in this. I feel like this is probably the most comfortable just because it's that little bit higher. Um, the only thing I would say is I'm wearing it in a 10. I probably could have gone down to the eight. This is a little bit roomy around here, uh, but it sits nicely here. There's plenty of like room on the skirt. Yeah, I like this one a lot. It's hard now, isn't it? I thought what, there'd be one clear winner, but I feel like these three are all beautiful. And then option number four, and this is another beautiful dress, but unfortunately, as you can probably see, this one is an absolute no, because it's just too big. I sized up to a 10 because of the style of it with the buttons going down. I knew that I couldn't get it in my regular size, but I loved it so much. I thought maybe if I sized up, it might work, but it doesn't. Like these straps are so long on me where it should just sit a little bit lower. It just doesn't fit me very well around the chest area. To be fair, it's not bad on the bump actually. It actually fits well there, but everywhere else it just doesn't fit quite right. I think it's also meant to have a belt as well. So it's got these little loops here, but I couldn't see it, so I'm not sure if my mum's popped the belt somewhere. Um, but with a belt, it could cinch in nicely, but I just think that like with these straps, it's not gonna work and it's just a little bit, a little bit loose here and yeah, just not quite fitting right. So option four is an absolute no, um, but I think personally, I'm edging on option three or one or two. What's pretty, wasn't it? That fabric is lovely it is a bit of colour. I don't know, I felt like three was more me. Like I feel like in three, I just feel very comfortable. It went really well with the fascinator. But let me know in the comments, one, two, three, or four. I mean, <laughs> clearly not four, um, but maybe one, two, or three. Let me know in the comments which one that you preferred. But this dress is stunning. Like it's absolutely beautiful. And I feel like if this fitted, it would be gorgeous. But unfortunately, it just doesn't, but look, I mean, it's got that lovely little slit at the front. The fabric is beautiful. It feels really, really lovely quality. Um, I will leave all of the dresses linked, obviously. I will also leave the fascinator linked below as well. If you are going to any fabulous occasions and you're looking for a nice occasion wear dress, these are beautiful. I just thought I'd quickly show you the fascinator close up so you can get a better look at it, but it's just so pretty and such a lovely, subtle shade of like nudie pink, really pretty. Um, and obviously I don't think I would wear like chunky hoops like this. I think maybe like a little bit of a pearl earring might be quite pretty. Um, but I feel like these are a little bit too, bit too chunky, but yeah, love this. It is a few hours later now and we're just about to head off on an evening walk and then we're going to pick up a curry. We've ordered a takeaway and we're gonna do our walk and then pick it up on the way back and come back just because we haven't got any food in. I need to do an online shop. And we thought we'd treat ourselves to an Indian meal this evening. So off for a nice sunny evening walk and then back home for an Indian. Gorgeous. Fluffy. Good boy. Hello, gorgeous boy. Ha, ha, ha. 